Hello everyone. Time plays a significant role in our lives. It allows us to accomplish tasks, make progress and achieve our goals. It is no secret that Germans are very particular about punctuality. To many Germans, being on time is considered a sign of respect towards other people's time. Hence, it is important for language learners to be able to tell time in German. In my previous video, I covered the German number names, which serves as a crucial foundation for today's topic. If you're unsure about them, I recommend watching that video before proceeding. Before we begin, let's learn some basic vocabulary related to the concept of time. Time in German is known as die Zeit. Die Zeit. Please focus on the way I'm pronouncing the word Zeit. There is a little S sound to it. However, it does not exactly sound S. It, it basically begins with the pronunciation of TS. Zeit. Die Zeit. Die Zeit. This means time. The plural form of this word is the Zeiten. The Zeiten. The Zeit. The Zeiten. Next, we have the Uhr. The Uhr. I will also write the plural form of the words that I will be explaining over here. The Uhr. The Uhren. Which means the clock. The Uhr. The Uhren. Next, we have the Walker. The Walker. The Walker. And the plural form is the Walken. The Walken. Which means the week. The Walker. The Walken. Next we have Der Tag. Der Tag. Der Tag. And the plural form is the Tage. The Tage. Which means the day. The Stunde. The Stunde. The Stunde. And the plural form is the Stunden. The Stunden. Which means the R. Next, the Minute. The Minute. The Minute. And the plural form is the Minuten. The Minuten. Which means the minute. Similarly, the Sekunde. The Sekunde. The Sekunde. And the plural form is the Sekunden. The Sekunden. Which means the second. Last, we have Das Jahr. Das Jahr. Das Jahr. And the plural form is the Jahren. The Jahren. Which means the year. Finally, we learned the Zeit, the Zeiten, the Uhr, the Uhren, the Walker, the Walken, der Tag, the Tage, the Stunde, the Stunden, the Minute, 
die Minuten, die Sekunde, die Sekunden. Das Jahr, die Jahren. Now that we have learned some basic vocabulary, let's look at the seven days of the week. That is sieben Tage in der Woche. Sieben Tage in der Woche. First, Montag. Montag. Second, Dienstag. Dienstag, Mittwoch. Mittwoch, Donnerstag. Donnerstag. Freitag. Freitag. Samstag. Samstag. Last. Sonntag. Sonntag. As you already knew, but I will still write it over here. Montag is Monday. Dienstag is Tuesday, Mittwoch is Wednesday, Donnerstag is Thursday, Freitag is Friday, Samstag is Saturday and Sonntag is Sunday. Okay, so now that we just learned the pronunciation for the 7 days of a week, let's now look at the 12 months in a year, the pronunciation of the 12 months in the year. That is, Zwölf Monate in dem Jahr. Zwölf Monate in dem Jahr. Januar, 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 Februar, 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 März, 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 April, 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 Mai, 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 Juni, 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 Juli, 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 August, 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 September, 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 October, 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 November, 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 December, December, December. So once again, Januar, Februar, März, April, Mai, Juni, Juli, August, September, Oktober, November, Dezember. So, now that we have learned the German names for the days of a week and months of a year, let's look at the concept of the hour clock. The very first thing you need to know is how to ask time because you could encounter many situations where you will have to ask time from someone. So, the most common ways to ask this are We feel Uhr ist es. Wie viel Uhr ist es? Which mean What time is it? Wie viel Uhr ist es? The second way is Wie spät ist es? Let me write this more clearly. Wie spät ist es? Wie spät is this? Which means, how late is it? Wie spät ist es? Wie spät ist es? And this is, 
We feel ua is this. We have one more way to ask someone the question. We feel ua haben wir. We feel ua haben wir, which means how much time do we have? We feel ua haben wir. So, these three questions go as We feel ua is this? We spät is this? We feel ua haben wir. To sound more polite and formal, you can say Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Kionen. Sie mir bitte sagen, wie spät es ist. Entschuldigung, können Sie mir bitte sagen, wie spät es ist? This means, excuse me, can you please tell me how late is it? So, Entschuldigung, können Sie mir bitte sagen, wie spät es ist? This is the question to ask if you, sound, if you want to sound more polite and formal. Entschuldigung means Excuse me. Now, from the beginning, we feel ua is this? We spät is this? We feel ua haben wir? Entschuldigung, können Sie mir bitte sagen, we spät es ist? Now, before moving on, I would like to point out one thing. You might have noticed that in this particular question, the order of these two words has changed in comparison to this particular question. Now, what is the reason for this? The reason for this is that in the question, in this particular question, which is question 4, the sentence appearing after the comma is here. This sentence appearing after the comma becomes secondary or a side sentence, in which case the verb goes at the end. The verb in this particular question is ist. Ist. Which means is. I will explain the sentence structure in the upcoming videos, but for now, please take a note of this small difference as it is a very common mistake made by beginners. Moving on, there are two ways to tell the time in German, the formal and the informal way. That is, in German this is informella, formella, informella, formella, or unoffizieller, offizieller. So, informella or unoffizieller, formella, offizieller. The 12 hour clock is mainly used in the informal or unofficial scenarios, in usual daily language while talking to friends. However, the 24 hour clock is more likely to be used in formal or official cases, for example, while talking to a stranger or older person. So, informal takes use of the 24 hour clock, uh, 12 hour clock, sorry, and uh, it is used among friends. And in the formal form, the 24 hour clock is used and it is used um, while talking to an older person or also due in news reports. The reason for this division between informal and formal is that the German language does not use the AM or PM distinction. Therefore, the 24 hour clock is used to avoid any confusion. When we have the full hour, we use the following sentence structure to tell the time. Es ist 
the R number Ua. This means it is the R number o'clock. So if you wish to say it is one o'clock or two o'clock, we say S is ein Uhr. S is zwei Uhr. S is drei Uhr. Similarly, S is zwölf Uhr. This means it is one o'clock. This means it's two o'clock, three o'clock, and finally twelve o'clock. S is ein Uhr. S is zwei Uhr. S is drei Uhr. And following on, S is zwölf Uhr.